Hello everybody, it's Mark Rivera back with another comic book haul, so let's get to it. Um, so this haul is going to consist of a few eBay purchases, um, some other non-comic book items, mainly toys and pops, and a Facebook um, contact that my buddy got. Uh, through a gentleman that has paid off pretty darn well and has some serious, serious potential to become something uh, legendary. So, but with that being said, uh, I actually, my buddy picked this up. The actual the one that kind of got the, got the, uh, Got a contact on Facebook. Uh, my buddy picked this up for me. Marvel Action number 10. The second print. First Yellow Hulk. And then I've been picking these up. This is Iron Man Legacy issue 3. I think CBCS did something on these um, print runs of some of these variant Iron Man books. And I believe this is the lowest printed of the all the variants they showed. I think there's just under... There's just under a thousand. There's like nine hundred and something. That book. So I got that on eBay. <clears throat> and then, excuse me. And then my buddy picked these up on eBay too. He got me a, a couple copies of uh, this Avengers versus X Men number one. The Diamond Select uh, Toys uh, variant. Um, pretty cool thing about these is the guy who shipped these, he shipped them with the clear, you know, it's uh, that see through board. It's kind of cool. I kind of wish they were Silver Age, but you know, I don't think I'm going to keep those books in there though. But that was kind of cool. Um, let's see here. I'll show these two first. So, um, these two books, I had actually taken these to the show about a month ago. I was telling you guys I was doing that show, and I had these for a dollar a piece. And when the news broke, I was like, literally like a day before, I had just fingered through the boxes that I had taken to the show, and I had two of these sitting in there. War of Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number one, the third print variant. Yeah, I was ready to sell these for a dollar a piece at the show. Funny how things uh, seem to pan out. And little side note, um, these were found in the Walmart packs. Um, not the newest batch, the batch before with the Black Widow, uh, the Galactus, uh, Strange Academy, that, that run. So, you can find these in there. And then, um, I went to another local LCS by me. Hadn't been in there for a while. And he had one of these sitting in there. Now, I had sold this book like three or four years ago. I, I'd actually had traded it in with a box of some bronze and modern age. And I really regretted it. But this one I actually think is an upgrade copy. Action Comics 340. The first appearance of the Parasite. It is complete. It does have the pen up in the middle. And it's actually, a, I think, an upgrade copy to the one I had before. So I was so, so happy to get this book. I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark in here. But uh, it's been cloudy all day here. I actually have another light on in, in the room just to get brighten it up a little bit. So... But yeah, so happy to get my uh, first parasite back. I paid uh, paid thirty bucks for that. I was gonna leave that. Okay. Now before we get to the main books, I want to show you a couple things. I don't know if anybody had done the whole 
thing with the uh, San Diego Comic-Con Pop Funko thing, the virtual Pop Funko, which was a disaster. I managed to grab a couple pieces. Um, they're still in their package. So I'll show you this one. So I ended up getting the Michelangelo. It sucks it doesn't have, it just says convention on it. It sucks it doesn't say like San Diego Comic Con on it. So I got the Michelangelo and then I ended up getting, this should have definitely had the San Diego Comic Con sticker on it, but it didn't. I got the blue toucan so I don't know why this didn't have the San Diego Comic Con sticker on it but hey whatever at least I got something most people got nothing everything sold out really quick so I was happy to get those so a few days ago my friend of mine who this is a reoccurring thing with him the, 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 he was contacted from somebody on eBay, the same guy, so. Um, <clears throat> he ended up going to Walgreens, and he found, he spotted this. And he told me, hey, they got one of these there. So, there was no way I was going to leave it. That, I was like, I didn't think I'd get one of these. This is the Black Hole. Vincent action figure from uh, Diamond, right? Diamond, it's a, it's a Diamond Select toy. Um, <clears throat> these were only found at Walgreens. These came and went really fast. A um, little bit of history with the black hole. This is, the on this is only the second time they have made any black hole toys since 1980 they did the line in 1980 which you know for their time they were good and they also demand a lot of money if they're still on card but since then 40 years later this is the second time they've done toys and yeah, there was no way it was going to leave this so they did vincent which is in my eyes probably a more underrated um movie cinema droid that nobody really talks about anymore it is uh i think deserves a lot more credit because he was a, a, he was tough as nails he didn't take crap from nobody and he never let his size dictate how much courage he had so so walgreens only had two pieces this one and then on the back is the maximilian which is awesome too so, was so stoked to find that. So happy. Now I just got to get the Maximilian. Side note, though, um, there are these other Marvel, um, not Marvel, but Diamond Select packs where, if anybody knows the Black Hole, you had Vincent, you had Maximilian. But old Bob the Robot, which is kind of the same model as Vincent, there's a Diamond Select 2 pack with Vincent and old Bob. And I would like to get those, but people are asking like $100, $120 for those packs. And then the Maximilian comes in his own pack, and it actually has an alternate head, which happens at the end of the movie. Anybody, if anybody's never seen it, it's definitely a movie you can sit down with your family and watch. It was so good. I highly recommend this. But super stoked to get this. Love to have my Vincent piece now. I would love to see uh, Hot Toys or sideshow do a Vincent piece that would be awesome I would definitely buy that so anyways super stoked to finally get a Vincent in my collection all right so let me paint this picture for you my buddy posted on um, on um, Facebook that he's he's a collector and he's looking into buying collections and what have you yada 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 so a gentleman reached out to him and says, hey, I got some books if you're interested. 
So my buddy ended up going to meet him at a storage unit and he saw some of the books. And so my buddy contacted me and said, hey, listen, this guy's got some pretty darn good stuff. And he supposedly he has other stuff that's not here in the state. But he's supposed to be going to be bringing it in from where he used to live. So we end up finally, I actually go look at his stuff in the storage and then we meet up to make purchases because he, he's one of those uh, people that you pick up the books and then he gives you prices. He's got to go home and do his homework and stuff. So this is this little stack is from what I picked up from the guy. So I'm going to start off with these. Uh, he had almost a complete run. I do believe he has the one issue that is missing, but this is the Planet of the Symbiont uh, Spider-Man run. And um, so I managed to pick up copies of number one, number two, number four, and number five. So I'm only missing three. Now you're looking at these covers and go, wait a second, these ain't the plan under the symbiont covers. And the thing is, and I didn't know this until I got these books home, but yes, we're putting a stop to the video so I can show you what I'm talking about because I never knew this. I could, And I own a couple copies of this book already and I didn't know. But, this is not the original cover. This is the original cover. So, I just put them in this way because I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. They, they kind of like an alternate cover. So, halfway through the book, the story rotates and you've got to turn it around and do that. I know, So, I never knew that. So... So he had this, and I was like, oh my god, man, you got this whole run. And I realized he was only missing one book, but he swears up and down he has the other. And I, I'd be inclined to believe him, considering what else this guy has in his collection. Now, from what I understand is he's, he's from what he told me was, because I questioned him, because he says he has certain books. So, actually, I'll get into that after we're done. So, yeah, he had the... He had almost the whole set. I do believe he has three somewhere, so I'll just pick that up from him. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see what else I picked up. Uh, picked up uh, Skin 13. I think it's my second copy. I got that. And I was really happy to find this. This book that's kind of eluded me, even though I have the variant to this. Uh, Angela. That one one-off book, not the mini-series, just the the one-off. So I got that. Actually, that might be the variant. Anyways, got those. Now, before I go any further, I paid about $14 a piece for each of these books. So as I get farther into it, you'd be like, oh, so that's where the money went. Um... Picked up a copy of X-Men number four. First full Omega Red or first Omega Red, I don't know. Got that. Really nice copy of that. And then he started to have some really obscure. He was really big into the independent scene. Um so I found this. I just love this cover. This is Razor. Number five, this is the Platinum Edition, and this is from 1994. I just love the purples and the white. So I got that. Picked up a copy. I finally picked up a copy of this. He actually had, like, most of the run, but I only grabbed number seven because number one was in a very good shape. New Gods, number seven. First appearance of Steppenwolf, first appearance of Tigra, first appearance of Hegra, first uh, an origin of Orion. This is from February of 1972. 
I finally had some pretty good solid copy, 780 copy, solid. Happy to get that, first copy. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I'm buying this. The Max number one, this is from March of 1993, but it is the glow in the dark cover. Not an easy book to find. There is a Dynamic Forces variant to it. And I would not be surprised if that guy had that too. But that's not an easy book to find. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's do this one. Um, he had a copy of Amazing Spider-Man 252. This is from uh, May of 84. I think that's my second or third copy. I'm actually selling that to my little brother. He wanted, he needed one. So, and then he had this. This is awesome. I bought both of these. I got them. Like I said, I paid about fourteen dollars a piece for each of these books. But he had Secret Wars number eight, the Dynamic Forces variant, and this is number seventy of fifteen hundred right there. And then he had a matching one, 71 of 1500. Both have certificates of authenticity. He bought these, he got these the day these came out. He said he bought them and put them away. I wasn't going to leave those. No way. Uh, the second one's going to be sold to my brother. He wanted one. Uh, let's see here. Okay, more independent stuff. Put you right here. More independent stuff. Uh, so happy to find these. He had copies of Razor number one. This is from October of 92. He had two copies. I grabbed them both. I just don't see those books around. Uh, early appearances of Razor. He had... I don't, I think he said he didn't have any zeros. But then I saw these, I was like, oh yeah, I'm buying these too. Razor Annual number one. First appearance of Shy or She or however you pronounce it. But he also had the gold edition to this, which is signed by William Tucci and Everett Hartzos. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Gold edition, hard to find. These are from December of 93. There was no way I was going to leave those books. These were nice. These were really nice. I'm so happy to find these. So, these were the books he brought to show off. And we pulled books and we got them, but... When I went back to his um, storage unit, my buddy had left some books because he doesn't have the eye I have, especially for independence. And I couldn't believe he had these sitting in the boxes. And I grabbed them. I actually grabbed three copies of them. And I threw them right in the box. Because I said, We're, I'm buying these for sure. He had copies of Danger Girl number two. The smoking gun variant. And not only did he have it, he had the platinum and he had the red velvet one, which is even harder to find. I think the platinum platinum editions limited to fifteen hundred. The red velvet was limited to four hundred. So my buddy wanted to keep that. It was his find, but you know. Whatever. These are books I didn't think I'd own in my collection. I was blown away. Um, yeah. It was a great find. Really happy to get it. This, he has other books. They're just not here. And... I'll just say this. Um, he says he has some books. Some Silver Age books that are very desirable and he says he has multiple copies of them 
and he says he's got to get them from up north along with all of his other books. He keeps these books in safety deposit boxes. And uh, if he says what he says he has, and I believe he does because I, I asked him some questions about certain books and he seemed to know that when he purchased them at the time he bought them, the prices he paid matched up to the time he bought them. So, I might, might, might be, you know, I'm not going to be able to participate, but my buddy seems like he's going to make an attempt to make an incredible purchase of some Silver Age books. It's going to be like, it's going to be a legendary moment. If, it, if, if things play out the way they hope, like I said, though, it's easy to say you have something. It's totally different when it's in front of you. So, talking to the guy, he seems real genuine. I, you know, I kind of questioned him on the pricing. He gave me prices for what he paid for the books at the time. And that's what they were going for when he bought them in the early 80s. So, but, um, yeah, so that's the situation. This is an ongoing process. The guy had some great books. He cut me great deals. I got two books I would never have thought of, let alone one. But, uh, and these books, oh, by the way, these are like, like bad day, nine sixes. On a real bad day, these are nine sixes. So I know, I think J. Scott Campbell's going to be coming into CDC, so I'm contemplating on getting these clean pressed, signed, and graded, because I really think one of these for sure is going to come back a nine eight. There's no doubt in my mind. So, but yeah, guys, anything, anyways, uh, before I go, I want to give a shout out to everybody that subscribed to my channel the last, uh, three or four weeks. I'm so thankful for that. I still need to get to 325, you know, we're right there. So you guys can help me get to 325. I got a bunch of Silver Age I haven't shown you guys yet. So, you know, get me to 325 so I can start showing you guys some more of these Silver Age books I've picked up and held on to. But, um... If you like what you see, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hit the bell, and I will see you guys again the next time.